So today we are going to talk about how the decision came about to sell everything and sail away. Okay. Okay, do you want to start? No, I'll let you start. Okay, so we decided um, actually to sell our house um, and move to the south coast of England because we had a boat, a sailboat, a 35-foot uh, Moody yes. that we like to go sailing in every weekend and as often as possible. But where we lived in England, we were right in the middle of England. Of England, yeah. So like three hours away from the coast, yeah, two, three hours. So we thought, okay, we'll sell the house and let's move to the coast where we can sail more. Mm -hmm. So we put the house up for sale and it sold within a week or so. Um, but what happened was the people that bought the house, it wasn't people, it was actually a company. So this company buys our house and they want to turn it into a foster home. Yeah. And we didn't think much about it. We thought, fine, you know, we don't care. <laughs> We're but, selling. Yeah, but the neighbors didn't care. Yeah, they, they went mad. The neighbors put up a petition to complain against it. And the person lived next door but one's brother was the mayor. I, they had a meeting in the thing. I sneaked in and... I held my own against a hundred people. It was quite funny, actually. But to make a long story short, <laughs> um, this got dragged out for what six months? I actually think it was only about two, maybe three months at the maximum. Right. It felt forever to me because once you make a decision to move and do something, you want to do it. And yeah. once your house sells, you think, oh, it's just the formalities. Yeah. But what happened was we found out that the officials were never going to let this no. sale happen. I started to think. Um, a lot about things because I I wasn't working I had quit my company so I was transitioning from being a corporate workaholic crazy control freak lunatic and um, spending more time with our daughter who was about three at the time three, yes and you weren't working because you actually left your job so that you could look after our daughter Sienna when she was first born yeah we had a house in the middle of England. We didn't need to even live in England anymore if we didn't want to. So we were kind of thinking, well, wh why are we moving to the coast? We're moving to the coast because we want to sail, be yeah. on our sailboat. So you happened to be um, doing a boat delivery job. And I was just so upset because a planning, a planning officer told me, listen, it's not going to go through. And I was just so outraged mm -hmm. that, you know, the kind of corruption or, yeah. I mean, I suppose if I was a neighbor, I would have done the same thing. Yeah. But anyway, it still was hard when you're on the receiving end of it. And um, so I sent you a text. Yeah, you said, I was just coming up, to, I was delivering a boat from southern Portugal back to the south coast of the UK. And I was just coming up to the bottom of the Bay of Biscay. So I was just about to go into the Bay of Biscay. And I got this text from Kim saying, I don't want to buy the house in England. I want to buy a house in the BVI. And I just looked at it and went, <laughs> I'm just going to ignore it. But just I ignored it. And about three hours later, we, I was in no communication for the next couple of days going up through the Bay of Biscay. And um, it was about two o'clock in the morning as we came in. Suddenly, my phone started dinging again. Uh, reluctantly, went down and had a look and see what Kim was going to be saying next. And then she goes, "I don't want to buy a house. I want to buy a boat and sail around the world." And I just went, "Yes, yes, 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 yes," and clicked off. Eventually, got back into the UK and met up with Kim. And yeah, we talked about it like for. Maybe like a day or so thinking, you know, are we being crazy? And there were so many questions. Our biggest question was, what are we going to do with Sienna? Yeah. You know, she's three and a half. She's supposed to start school at the age of four, I think, in England. Four like, and a half years Yeah, well, that yeah. like year coming up, she was supposed to start school. Um, and then there was also the major factor of, well, what boat do we get? Um how much is it going to cost? Where do we start? How do you do this? Because although it was a dream of ours to sail around the world, we didn't know. Yeah, we did. We hadn't. We hadn't planned anything. No, it was if we went, we were going to win the lottery. That's what we do. <laughs> but we started thinking more seriously, and we thought, well, if we sell the house, um, that will give us quite a bit of money. And then we had a bit of money from me selling um, my shares in my company. And so you weren't working, I wasn't working, and we had a child that wasn't in school yet. Yeah. So we were thinking, well, should we do it? Yeah. 
and so we talked about it for about a week, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, a week. We let it settle. Because sometimes you have an idea and it's great one day, and then like two days later you think, <laughs> what insane <laughs> idea was that? Yeah. <laughs> but the more and more we thought about it, the more and more we thought, yeah, this is what we want to do. So. And that was that decision was made in October, wasn't it? October of 2013. Yeah, September, October. Yeah, yeah September, October. So um, we made the decision, and then we called up the uh, company that was going to buy our house and said, sorry, it's not going to happen, and they were fine. They were really yeah, nice yeah. about it. And then we called the estate agent and said, you know, we're well, not... We, yeah, we called, we called the estate agent we were with, and well, I wasn't happy with the way they dealt with us. In yeah. fact, one of the, the guy that was supposed to be selling the house was in cahoots with the um the mayor's brother, the mayor's or brother. i know it, <laughs> the whole so thing yeah crazy. so everything was against us at that one yeah. and then i spoke to him on the friday and he says oh i've got the person for you yeah he came like on saturday took the details yeah and then i think this is the craziest story because um I went to walk out the front door on the Saturday afternoon. And it was either I think it was Sunday. Sunday was it? Sunday okay. to go to the coffee shop, and then I forgot something, so I walked back into the house, and then um, I walked back out, and there was a car sitting out in front of the house, and the woman in the car rolled down the window and said, "Excuse me, is this the house going up for sale?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah," and I said, "Are you interested?" And she's like, "Yeah." The agent called me, and you guys seem to have the perfect house that we need. So I said, well, park up, come on in, I'll show you the house. And she didn't want to, you know, she just wanted to see the house, but she ended up coming in. Um, and then, so that was Sunday, and then I think she um, she needed to move her mom into the house, and the house had kind of like a granny flat on yeah. it where your dad lived. And um, so she made a phone call. Her mom came down from the north of England within two days. I think the house sold within... Three days. Three days. <laughs> for our asking price, which for, is more than what the yeah, company asked for. Yeah, for, for asking price. So we actually made more money. Um, so that was November, or end of October. It, it, was, a, it was the second week in October. Se okay, so second week in, in October. So then you, Simon, thought, well, we got to go find a boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had been looking... Yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong, I had been looking. Well, you knew a lot about oysters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you spent your entire... Like last 10, 15 years drooling at but oysters. oyster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and we didn't think we could get one, but we thought, well, yeah. we always thought about buying a new one, which is millions, and of course yeah. we'd have to win the, the lottery, lottery for that. For that yeah. But you started thinking, well, how much is a used oyster? Yeah. You know? So, and uh, I was just looking and looking and looking, and I started talking to the brokers and got chatting with this really nice broker from Oyster, and he goes, well, what's your plan? I said, we want to sail around the world. He goes, well, what's your budget? Told him what our budget was. And he goes, well, this is the oysters you're looking at. I went, yeah, that's what I got. He goes, but there is this one, a 56. And I went, well, Kim and I said, we can't afford a 56. And he goes, well, this person is really motivated to sell the, his oysters. It's been on the, on the market for a long time. And um, he's consistently dropped the price from being very expensive to quite reasonably he's willing to have an offer and this he had it up for sale for a couple of years a couple think. of years yeah yeah it started off as a, a massive price and he slowly dropped it down he dropped it down to still above our budget when i went in look i said i'm i'm dead cheeky i said i'll offer a cheeky price he went well offer a cheeky price and we'll, you never know you never know so i i offered the price and he went wow that is really cheeky. <laughs> I went, yeah, I know. I said, but that. But that's, that's what we could. That's I mean, what we, we could afford. We looked at how much money we had in a pot, and we said, okay, this amount of money can be used for a boat, and the rest we have to like live on for, you know. I was estimating four to five years, so that in those four to five years we could figure out how to make money. Yeah, exactly. And he goes, well, he's never going to go with this. Yeah. And I went, okay, we'll get, make the give, yeah. give him the offer, and let's see where we go. Yeah. And he came, he came back, and the guy said, you're close. And I, I nearly fell off my chair, because I had offered something ridiculous. And, he went, and I went, oh, okay. So he came back with a counter offer, which was dropped about £30,000 from what his initial was. So I, he was hoping that I would go up the same amount, and I just went up five. <laughs> and I goes, that's my last offer. Yeah. And... He goes, but that you know, he's come down to you've only gone up five. I says, yeah, but that's all we, that's all I'm willing to pay. Yeah. And um, lo and behold, he come back, 
and agreed the price. And I was like, ah, oh, okay. So I went back to Kim and Kim goes, yeah, well, I'm not happy with that price because we still haven't sold our boat and we'd only just put our boat up for sale with a guy that used to own it. Own the boat, yeah. <laughs> he used to own the boat. And he, we'd, so we, our boat had only been on, uh, for sale for a week. And, yeah, the uh, Moody. The Moody. And, um, yeah, because at this point we were thinking we had to sell everything. We had to sell a house, we had to sell yeah, everything. A boat, a car, get rid of uh, six bedrooms worth of <laughs> stuff. stuff. <laughs> also, relocate your dad. Yeah. And manage that situation. I mean, this was a lot. So, yeah. the month of October, you were going back and forth with yeah, the broker. Yeah, I was going broker. back and forth. And, and it came and goes, yeah, yeah. And, and I went, I so I sold to a broker. I said, he sat down. He goes, yeah. I said, we agreed the price, yeah. And I said, but Kim's not happy with it because we can't buy it yet because we need to sell our Moody. And, and, and I thought to myself, too, boats can take years to sell. Yeah, exactly. You know, some boats take a, a long time. And although we priced the Moody to sell and it was a great boat, it, I thought, well, gosh, you know, we could buy this new boat, but... You know, have two boats. They have two boats. So the cost of... And we'd have to keep it at the marina where the other boat is or put it up on the heart or whatever the case may which be. Which can be very expensive yeah, but where it was. Yeah, it was expensive. Mm. Yeah. So I thought to myself, gosh, this is getting way too uncomfortable. So, and he goes, well, he's not going to go for that. I went, okay, well then let's, okay, then we'll, we'll have to scrap that and then let's look at um, the 49 which was in our price range. He went, oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let me come back to you. I went, okay. I don't know what he's going to do. And about six hours later, I got a phone call. He goes, how about this deal? You pay for the boat, less the 40000 that you have for the Moody. Once the Moody sails within the year, he's giving you a year, you pay him the 40000 Yeah, so it was an option. So it was an option. So I went to... Um, went back to Kim and Kim goes yeah okay well let's tentatively say yeah we'll buy it yeah with that deal yeah. and we'll go and look at it we hadn't even looked at the boat yeah, this no, time. We didn't see the boat the other thing is too the broker came back and said but for all this to happen you have to buy the boat by the end of this year yeah before Chris before the before, end of the year yeah and we were like so we were like, how are we going to do okay, that? Okay, so we have to sell we have to sell our house. Well the house had to complete. Sell, yeah, yeah to complete. We had to sell the Moody, we had to sell yeah. the car, all our stuff, yeah. and buy this boat. Yeah, not to mention, uh, we also had to find another, uh, an apartment. Oh, for God, your, yeah, for I totally dad. forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah. so there was that, and uh, think of all the courses we need to do to learn yeah. how to maintain a boat and sail around the world. So I was, I was selling the house, selling the car, buying a, ha buying a flat, buying a boat, selling yeah. a boat. Yeah. And so you went back to the people buying our house our and house. said, because in England it can take three months for a house to complete, and yeah. it's usually the mortgage that holds things yeah. up. And I said, are you a cash buyer? And they went, yes. I went, great. Do you want to move in the house before Christmas? And they went, yeah, we can do it. So, so that was tick in the box number <laughs> yeah. one. And I almost fell over. I know. Because of that much money. <laughs> and I went, okay, well, that gives us a problem because now we have to find a house. Uh, yeah. Find a, we find a flat. And, and I went to my dad. I said, well, we'll purchase it and you live in it and you just pay the bills. And he goes, yeah, that's great. So where do you want to live? He goes, I want to live on the south coast. So I looked on, on the website and I found, I found a couple of properties. So we found this one property. And they had to be vacant. And they had to be vacant. This was vacant. I agreed the price, and it was it was a nice flat. It wasn't a great flat, but it was nice, beautiful flat. And then they we got gazumped the day later. Yeah. And I was thinking, oh no. So then I found this other house that had been repossessed, and I bought that. Yeah. And I bought it at a ridiculous. Yeah, because it was price. a repossession. We weren't even trying to be cheeky on no, that. No. We just needed. Something we needed to buy a house, <laughs> and and bought it for about. 30% below market yeah. value. It's, I mean, I think the moral of this story is when you f when you happen upon something that's right, just go for you it. You just like, it, it flows. Just flows. Life it flows. Goes. So ultimately, what happened was we agreed the price for the boat. We then flew out the week before December. Yeah. Yeah. To see the boat and have a, 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 a survey, survey yeah. and a sea trial. Provided, and if we didn't like it, we didn't have to buy no, it. That was that because we hadn't seen it. Yeah, but we knew exactly yeah, what yeah. we were looking at because yeah, yeah. we've seen so many other oysters. So we went. We flew out the the week before Christmas. Did no, the, the week before December. 
No. No, the week before Christmas is when we moved. Oh, we it. moved about yeah. So the week before December, me and you flew down. Um, your dad watched Sienna. Yeah. We looked at the boat, sea trial, everything went great. Yeah. It was it was fantastic. We were so stressed, but it went good. Yeah. Decided to buy the boat. We completed on the boat. Boat. Well, we completed on the house, house. on a Tuesday. Yeah. Flew down to the boat. No, 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 no. Moved it. Moved into the flat. <laughs> yeah. Moved into the flat. Yeah. A week later, we flew down to complete on the boat. The week before Christmas. The week before Christmas. But that day, yeah. we'd had a, the, the week before, we'd had an offer on the Moody, which we accepted. Yeah. At 11 o'clock, the, as we're boarding the plane, the Moody was sold. So we, and then we completed on the Oyster at five o'clock. So we were without a boat for six hours. Yeah. I mean, so what we, are the chances that know. we sold our Moody the same day we yeah. bought this yeah, boat? Yeah, I know. So the whole story is just it, amazing. It's a, it's a I think it's amazing. Yeah. So I think the moral of the story is, if you uh, really go for it, and <laughs> you, it can, if, you can move mountains. You can move mountains because <laughs> what we did was just ridiculous. Yeah, in and, that and, and eight, and weeks. What, eight weeks. Eight weeks. We did all that, and we got rid of all of our possessions. Yeah. And our car, got a new flat, got your dad all situated. Yeah. So yeah. So, I suppose it all started when we thought, well, should we buy a boat and sail around the world? <laughs> yeah. People plan for people plan for eight years. We did it in eight weeks. Yeah, but we've wanted to do it. Yeah, we wanted to yeah, do it. Yeah. Well, always, it's been a dream of ours, yeah. but we never planned it. We no. never researched it. And, no. We never were serious about it. Yeah. So, so it was, yeah. it, it was uh, <laughs> a crazy week. There, yes. is, there is actually even a lot more to the story, but we don't want to keep boring you. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is already long enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think um, maybe for the next um, the next video, maybe we'll talk about the courses we took and mm -hmm. like we had bought the boat. Um, oh yeah, and our first journey on the boat. We could talk about that. That yeah. would take another. <laughs> no. So we'll talk about how um, we got the you know moved the boat to Gibraltar and the Force Ten storm that we went through and um, all the stuff with that and the courses we took. And how we prepared ourselves for the uh, journey, which we left in March, end of March. Yeah, we, we, we flew we, down to the boat and moved aboard full time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's it. Okay. Okay. I'll say bye. 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 <laughs>